the experience is so profound that it does leave you forever changed. It's really shaped the leader that I am today. It was a week of hiking and a week of canoeing. Six day adult backpacking course. Two weeks. 20 days. Three week mountaineering course. Southwest semester course. In Maine. North Carolina. Ely, Minnesota. Brooklyn, New York. What year was it? That would be last year, 2021. In 2008. 1992. 82. 67. And on the first girls course, that was in 1965. There was that feeling on the first day as the bus drove up, boy, oh, is this really going to work? It was my first time away from home. First time in the wilderness. I'd never really been in the mountains. At our course start, I look around, there's huge dark clouds rolling in, the wind is picking up, and I was like, oh my goodness, what have I gotten myself into? I was terrified. I was like terrified. I woke up, I had a million mosquito bites. Nothing prepared me for that, and nothing prepared me for trying to balance a canoe on a portage. Uh, <laughs> and we had to jump in the ocean, which is freezing cold. It was 25 below. Uh, and we all proved you could do it. For me, it was really difficult to do the solo. I'll never forget solo. The quiet of the forest and really being forced to reckon with oneself. Profound in a single word. I remember one of the days we were hiking and we had this really steep hill to climb up. So we hiked up to the top of like a mesa. We really had to problem solve to get that to happen by ourselves, but we did and we got through it. And then we just like look down and you can just see for like forever. And I get to the top and I burst into tears. The entire extent of the Colorado Rockies were in front of us. It was really just shockingly beautiful. It's like a painting from an impressionist. And then they say, you made it, you made it. And I said, but I didn't do it on my own. And they said, but you never quit. And I said, I wasn't quitting. It was the hardest thing I ever did in my life. And afterward, it's all I wanted to do from then on. Having had that experience, it was something you needed to build on. Course is the spark. What you do with it in your life is the flame. It ignites the flame of self-discovery. That's something that I carry with me. Even when I'm seeing patients in the clinic and I might be like, oh, I've never done this procedure before, I'm nervous. I think about like, okay, it's outside of my comfort zone, but once I tackle it, it will become a part of the tools that I have. That's what Outward Bound really instilled in me from ninth grade until now. <laughs> it became a razor. This experience was a razor in my life that let me cut through any and everything, any obstacle because there was nothing I could fear after this. There's no fear. No fear of going to college, no fear of making the Miami Dolphins, no fear of going through law school, no fear of passing the bar because I was there. It gave me the confidence to quit a really good paying job, throw all that away, and start brewing beer in my kitchen. Cheers. The yeah, Outward Bound helped propel me and give me the confidence to step out there, take that first step, and to become mayor of Philadelphia. The programs in urban school settings, the life skills are life-changing. Outward Bound can impact and change the lives of underserved and underrepresented communities so that we are leaving this world of ours a little better than, than how we found it. All of what I'm doing today really just comes down to those two weeks. I cannot tell you how much this program did for my life. I came back a totally different person. It's an experience everybody needs to have in their life. 100% the world needs it so much today.